Hi guys, welcome to Rob Trace House. My name is Tanya. I hope you all are doing absolutely, absolutely wonderful. Today's reading is going to be for my Virgos. We're going to see what's the energy surrounding you guys, okay? I do want to thank you all. I want to thank you all for all your likes, all your shares, all of your comments. They're all greatly, greatly appreciated. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do so. That way you'll get notified anytime I upload any new video footages, but also that way I'm able to tug on your energy. Okay, guys, please remember only take what's yours. Leave everything else behind. If you would like a personal reading, my website's information is down in the description below. That is the only way that you're able to obtain a personal reading, okay? All right, my loves, I do call on the Holy Spirit. I call on the white light that guides us. I call on the goddesses that gives us our strength and the angels that protect us. Let's see, let's clear the energy. I want you guys to take three deep breaths in and release as we clear the energy, okay? All right. Let's see. Show me what I need to see. So we have sacred inner space, sensuality, your sacral chakra, tenderness. Okay. This is about being, there's a vulnerability in this energy. It's sharing it's like sharing your sacred space with someone, inviting someone into your sacred space. This is like sharing your soul with someone here. We had a Hather, light codes, light immersion, full system upgrades, power recall. This is upgrading your system, upgrading yourself, upgrading your life. A lot of you guys right now, present moment, there's an upgrade in your physical appearance. There's an upgrade in yourself. This is self-discovery. You know, this is like taking a look in the mirror and visualizing the changes that you want and start initiating those changes, initiating certain steps to make the changes that you want. There's something here in this energy about you guys co connecting more on a feminine, more nurturing, more loving, more caring. You know, this is about being grounded and abundant. This is a good energy coming through. Star being healing codes, important information, wounds are being healed. You guys are in your, you guys are recharging right now, present moment. You guys are recharging right now, present moment. Absolutely beautiful energy. Absolutely beautiful energy. Getting your rest. You're, some of you guys are in recovery right now, present moment, spiritually. There's spiritual recovery here. Emotional recovery. Mental recovery. Financial recovery, yes. But this is something, this is something deeper. This is, this is within your soul. You know, this is this is revamping. Some of you guys, you could have, this is like breaking through the ice. Breaking through the ice, like where you were once broken, you're repaired. Yeah, wounds are being healed. The answers that you, you seeked, you found those answers. If you seek certain answers, there's clarity here. An all-encompassing love, unconditional acceptance, and serenity. Such a beautiful energy. Heart of so, heart of the source. You guys are the heart of the source. This is like welcoming. You know how someone will go through, like that will enter into the AA uh, system or something like that, 
and or somebody will will enter like a grievance system this is something about like opening your arms and welcoming there's a welcoming energy coming through so whether it's you opening your arms or someone else opening their arms there's a welcoming ceremony here not truly a ceremony but you know it's it's also welcoming it's like when you go to a new church or something and there's people at the door that's greeting you and welcoming you in this is a new friendship this is a new bond some of you guys are forming you know also finding comfort finding comfort within yourself massive energy with you guys finding comfort within yourself show me spirit show me what's going on four swords rest rest rejuvenation recovery king of swords libra gemini aquarius energy seven of swords you know get, getting over some type of deception you know getting over some type of lack getting over a relationship where there may have been some type of deception some type of lack of trust or some type of disappointment here mm -hmm. but this is not this is not this is thinking yourself through this you know some of you guys you may have you may you may have turned off your emotions you may have turned off your emotions and that's your way of dealing with some type of deception you know, some of you guys, there's it's like you're you're trying to be more analytical. Show me. Because you're tired. Because you're tired. Yeah, show me. You're tired of the deception. You're tired of the lies. You're tired of not being able to trust people. Show me. Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Wands. Wow. Beautiful energy. You got new coming in here. This talks about new ideas. Ace of Pentacles. New opportunities here coming through for you guys. Bottom of the deck. The star. Your dreams and your wishes coming, coming through. That's your full system upgrade. That's your full system upgrade that's coming through for you guys. New ideas willpower strength your courage this is like a power you know stepping into your power right now present moment truly stepping into your power a lot of you guys there's a needing to take a step back get you some rest and rejuvenate why because you have a lot of new coming in for you a lot of you guys there's a dream a wish here being granted for you Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. So there could be somebody here coming in. Or this is more of, let's have some fun with it. Let's, let's just do it. You know, there's something here about you guys just doing it. Just taking on a new opportunity. Taking on a new project. Taking on a new endeavor. And it's, and it's being courageous in your pursuit. Hmm. Show me. Three of Pentacles. Some of you guys are collabing with others. We also have the Six of Wands. It talks about success and victory, public recognition. Some of you guys, you're getting recognized and our promotion, our raise, an offer here due to something you've mastered, something you've worked on. A lot of public recognition right now, present moment. There's a lot of public recognition, strength. This is about you being courageous. Whatever it is <clears throat> that you're working on, whatever it is that you're that you're mastering, whatever skill you're mastering, whatever work you're doing right now, present moment, there's a lot of recognition here. A lot of recognition. This is, you know, it starts with you guys pulling yourself together. Yeah, it starts with you guys pulling yourself together. Ace of Swords wants to pop out. This is telling me that you guys are not seeing something. Four of Cups. Hmm. You're not seeing something right in front of you. The Emperor. Aries energy. The Emperor is a masculine father figure. There's manipulation and, and control there. 
Mm. You're not seeing for some of you guys that as long as you allow someone the power or some type of power over you, they will continue to cease it. They will, they will continue to cease that. Show me. The Magician, Gemini, Virgo energy. This is like being... This I, I get a feeling of being used. Not truly, truly being used. But a service being offered. A skill that... that a pretty magnificent skill coming through. The Magician talks about your manifestations. You guys are, a lot of you guys are manifesting right now, present moment. You know, this is like a calmness. I'm getting such a calmness here. Success, victory, there's some wins that's happening. You know, if you felt, if you feel like you haven't been seen, you're going to be seen. If you felt like you've been used, there's some type of recognition that's coming through. You know, if you felt like you needed some type of help, there's help and assistance coming through. You know, some of you guys, it could be in the way of ideas. You know, someone giving you a helping hand, a new opportunity here, or also tapping into a power here. The power source. Yeah, massive energy. Massive energy. A lot of you guys are tapping into some type of power here. Bottom of the deck, we have the chariot. This talks about moving forward. Ten of Wands. Oh, some of you guys could be could be holding on, like truly holding on to some, like taking on other people's responsibilities, taking on other people's works, taking on other people. Like even if you're working with certain people, it's telling me like you're taking the the true blunt, like you know you're taking the brunt of. I don't know why I just got somebody taking the brunt of the beating, but it's like taking the brunt of the workload. Like you're doing the most. That type of energy is coming through. Why is this four swords here? Why is this four swords here for my Virgos? Nine of pentacles here. Virgo energy. The Hierophant Taurus energy. You know, right now, present moment, some of you guys could be working a whole lot, working a whole lot and you're exhausted. It's not, there's something here is about the more you work, the more you put out, you need some rest here because you're in a place right now, present moment that you're not, you're no good if you're not good, that type of energy. If you're not taking care of your mental if you're not taking care of your physical, if you're not taking care of your health, you're no good for no one. It doesn't matter how much money you make. You're no good to anyone if you don't actually take care of yourself here. That's what this is showing me. You know, the Hierophant towards energy. Some of you guys, you could be trying to further your education and working, working long hours, working more than one job, and it's a lot. You got a lot on your plate right now, present moment. But, you know, this also talks about higher education. It talks about your, your commitment, your commitment to something higher, King of Pentacles. See that? Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. Hmm. Some of you guys, there's someone here that, that wants to correct a wrong with you. Another earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. This person wants to correct another wrong with you. But this person may have made some very questionable decisions. This person made some very questionable decisions here. Yeah, show me, show me this Ace of Wands for my Virgos. What's this new? Five of Swords. Something's giving you, something's stressing you out. Five of Cups. Three of Swords. Oh, this is somebody that knew. This is somebody that some of you guys, Ace of Wands. This is like getting in bed. I don't want to say getting in bed with the devil, but this is like getting in bed with someone that you don't know. You know, this is like going into business, into partnership with someone you really and truly don't know. You know, this is entering us to a situation, Five of Swords. 
very stressful, drama, conflict, entering into something that's that's causing you some type of headache here, five of cups, you know, this talks about wallowing and self-pity. This also talks about depression, grievances, losses here. Be careful because the potential of new is here. But I also see this three of swords here. You see that? And this could be with a Libra for some of you guys. Like this is like, because the sex is good, you enter into a situation that you really and truly don't know what's going on. You know, this is like something being too, being too good to be true and entering into a situation that actually ends in heartache and pain. Because some of you guys, there's an energy here of dealing with somebody that may be a little off their rocker, you know, five of cups, somebody that may suffer with some type of depression here. You know, some of you guys, again, it's like jumping into something bef before kind of just getting your feet wet here. Justice, temperance, the emperor. Aries energy, Sagittarius, Libra energy. You know, that justice comes out when it when, when you have the when you have choices. How are you gonna handle this situation? How are you gonna balance things out and make things fair and just for yourself? Because you're dealing with somebody that somebody that's very manipulative, nine of swords. And this is the only way that you're not gonna this is to take away all that stress and anxiety and sleepless nights. You're needing to figure out a way of handling this situation. You guys are needing to figure out a way of handling this situation here. Before it goes too far, before it goes too far here. Hmm. Let's see, show me, show me this Ace of Pentacles for my Virgos. Show me this Ace of Pentacles. Ooh, the devil, I kept getting that devil energy. So that's good. The way the devil came out, Knight of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. So now you can move forward. So there's an opportunity for you guys to leave something toxic, something codependent here. So if you've been waiting on a paycheck, if you've been waiting on a settlement, if you've been waiting on a job offer, you know, this is something of substance. There's something coming in here that's going to take you away from something that's toxic, something that has been unhealthy for you. The devil, Capricorn energy. Some of you guys, you have somebody here, this person, they want their proposal of changing things with you. Knight of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. But this person doesn't know how to talk to you. If this is a person that's consistently coming after you. If this is someone that's consistently coming after you, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy, Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, Six of Swords. This person can't move on from you. You know, they want to make whatever changes. You know, this is like saying, I'm going to change, I'm going to change, I'm going to change. But with this page of wands, the way they come at you, they don't come at you the right way. They don't know how to communicate with you properly. They don't want to leave you alone, but this person doesn't know how to communicate with you properly. Not at all. This person is very much so immature. This person is very much so, they only know one way of dealing with life. And that way is unhealthy. Even though they're trying to change and they're trying to do better, they're they're working with the they're working with a playbook that that's all they know is what's is what's within that playbook. Yeah. Now I do see an opportunity where you guys are going to be able to leave a situation and go somewhere else. But why is the page of wands here? Because the page of wands here talks about bad news, six of swords. This whatever this opportunity is. Even it's there's an opportunity. Be careful with the opportunity. I don't know why I'm going to put warning in front of this message because that's what's kind of keep coming out. But whatever this opportunity is to leave something that's toxic and go towards something else because the, the Knight of Swords is fast talk. Be careful of a fast talker. Page of Wands because that talks about a rash decision, some bad news coming through. Some type of disappointment is in this energy because you can get somebody that could make you certain false promises. And at the end of the day, it could cost you six of swords, put you back in the same posture you thought you were moving away from. Truly put you back in the same posture. Yeah, the Empress. Truly put you back in the same posture that you thought you were moving on, away from. Hmm. 
Show me, show me this three of pentacles for my Virgos. So we have the six of pentacles. Six of pentacles talks about like some, oh gosh, there's a lot of warnings coming through. Ace of cups. This is new love. Some of you guys could have been in something third party with somebody, six of pentacles, where you weren't getting your equal give and take. Ace of pentacles, this person's coming back around. You know, some of you guys, you could, there there could be a situation where you're working with, you're, you're working, collabing with someone and it's costing you, it's unfair and it's unjust because like I told you, you're taking the, the, the true brunt of the situation. You're taking on way more than the other person. Somebody here, you could be you could be going to counseling, marriage counseling or counseling here. And all this person is doing is they're not helping me the situation. They're just taking from the situation. Hmm. Ace of Ace of Cups, Three of Wands. There's someone here that wants to. I keep getting someone trying to come into you guys reading. There's someone here, Six of Pentacles, that, that wasn't doing their part wasn't doing their part and there could have been some type of interference and the interference doesn't just have to be a person it could be a job a career you know a project or something that took this person away from you when you needed them but this person wants to come back yeah this person wants to come back this is a relationship a partnership so wherever you weren't getting your equal give and take now this whoever this person is that you were working with or this person that you were with you know, now this person wants to come back towards you. Now they want to come back towards you. Queen of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Energy. Some of you guys, this is a spouse that wants to come back. Yeah, show me this Six of Wands. Because I'm also getting like some of you guys, you could definitely be married to this person that wants to come back. Some of you guys, you could have been married to this person and y'all could be business partners. And now this person wants to work things out with you. Show me this Six of Wands. So we have strength, Leo energy, and the four of pentacles. This is about you holding on to the things that you have worked so hard for. Making sure that you hold on, be strong, Leo energy, and hold on to what you have been working for. Don't let somebody come in and try and take what's yours. Your spirit guides want you to make sure to make sure that you don't allow someone to come in and try and take what's yours. The lovers, Gemini energy. This could definitely be somebody here that you are in a relationship with or you were in a relationship with this person. But a lot of you guys, you're going to have to make a choice. Like, you know, you may be successful. You may be in the public's eye. Some of you guys, you may be celebrities. And you have to watch yourself and you have to watch your assets. You have to be careful every move you make. You have to be careful here. That's what's coming through. There's something here about you guys being careful. I feel like there's a lot of, you know, working on your sacral chakra. You know, a full system upgrade. Your life is transforming. Your life is changing. Wounds are being healed. You're recharging. But there's also important information coming through. And I feel like this message itself is important information for a lot of you guys because there's something here, there's some somewhat of warnings here about you guys protecting what is yours. Massive energy, the lover's Gemini energy. Some of you guys are dealing with somebody here that's in the public's eye. Strong Leo energy coming through. This person's still holding on to you. Why? Because this person's in love with you. Four of Cups. But you're you're kind of bored and unsatisfied with this with this person. Yeah, show me show me the magician for my Virgos, the lovers, Gemini energy. Hmm. Nine of Swords. Someone's tired of stressing. Somebody wants you to choose them. Somebody's trying to manifest you back in strong Gemini Virgo energy. Somebody's trying to manifest you in. Because they're in love with you. Mm -hmm. This person is tired of stressing out about this Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. But this person was emotionally manipulative. Seven of Swords. Now they want to do right by you. Now this person wants to do right by you. Three of Cups. Some of you guys, this person just wants to be friends. Like they at least want to be friends with you. Five of Pentacles. But you left this person out in the cold. Two of Pentacles. Why? Because this person was, was juggling you. They had you as an option. 
whoever this is, this person was juggling you. They had you as an option. Show me the lovers. Seven of Swords. See, somebody, somebody had you as an option. They no longer want to do that. But you block this person, block communication. You put up boundaries with this person. You put up boundaries with this person, but this person wants to come back so seriously. Yeah. Let's see. Show me. Show me what's going on with my Virgos. I see a lot of you guys getting a full system upgrade. I love that. You're, you're looking better. You're feeling better. Your money's getting better. Hmm. Wounds are being healed. You guys are recharging. It says Apple. Temptation will test you. That wanted to come out. Temptation will test you. Because we saw that here. Because there's certain people here. Be careful. You have to be careful of certain people. We have diamond. You'll be receiving or giving a very special gift. Some of you guys will be receiving or giving a very special gift. And we have spear. Heartache over what you no longer have. Because there's going to be some decisions that, that's having to be made. Because I feel like in protecting what's yours and protecting yourself, there is going to be some disappointment. Because there may be certain people that can't come with you along this journey we have dagger fear worries intense situations so you guys are about to enter into a very tense situation with someone here that's going to bring in some type of heartache some type of pain here because you're having to either put your foot down or you're ha you're having to stand up for yourself fair man dealings are a relationship with a man with blonde gray or white hair here some of you guys will be dealing with a fair man this could be somebody with blonde gray or white hair this could be a father figure this could be a boss this could be a spouse we have bird flying news is on the way so you guys got some news that's on the way because we do see important information coming in and tell me about this important information What's this news that's coming in? We have camel. Perseverance and you'll overcome problems. Whatever this is, whatever problems that come your way, your spirit guides are saying that you will overcome them. Your spirit guides are saying that you can handle whatever the situation is that is coming your way. You can handle it. You may feel like you can't, but you can in the moment, in the mix of it, it may feel like too much, but your spirit guides are saying that you are strong. Action. It says drop all fears and just do it. You have the power to create and be whatever you truly want. Look inside your heart and take positive action in those things that bring you closer to achieving your desired goals. Nothing can stop you except your own fears. This card is positive confirmation from God and the angels that the time is right for you to start a new and exciting venture. A new and exciting venture. Because I do feel like a lot of you guys, you're wanting to do things here. There just may be opposition from the other side. Yeah. All right, my loves. That is what I have for you guys. If any of this resonates, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. And I hope you guys have such a, such a wonderful day. Bye, guys.